Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the last video, I have shown you how to do a born oppenheim molecular dynamics calculation in NVE Ensemble using CP.X in Quantum Espresso. And in this video, I will show you how to turn on the thermal slot and do a NVT Ensemble calculation. Everything is the same as in the last video, except that we need to add one line to specify the thermal slot in the third step, that is the nozzle hover thermal slot. So the first step is still the relaxation of the electrons and we use CG to solve the ground state. And then the second step is to add some random displacement to move the system out of equilibrium. And we use the same displacement as in the previous videos, 0.03, so that we can compare the result. And then we also use CG as electron dynamics. And in the third step, we do actually the molecular dynamics simulation. We also use CG to solve the ground state every ionic step but now we need to control the temperature here. So here I will not do the calculation, but just remember that the command to run the calculation is this line for all three steps, and we use cp.x. So before I show you the change in the third step, I will first walk you through the input files of the first two steps. They are basically the same as last time. We start from scratch, and then we write in the folder named 50, that is in the out there, and then electron dynamics is CG, while we don't relax the ions. And then in the second step, we add some random displacement to the atoms by setting these two lines here. The first line means that we add some random displacement and the second line is the amplitude of the displacement. And we set it to be 0.03, which is consistent with the value that we used before for comparison. And for this, we restart from the step one calculation and read from photo 50, which contains the output of the um, step one and then it rises to 51 so that it does not destroy anything that is already within folder 50. Since anyhow we are solving a ground state, we can actually neglect step 1 and start from scratch here. Yeah. Okay, and then we start the actual bone oppenheimer molecular dynamics calculation. An important thing is that we need to specify electron dynamics to be CG so that it solves the ground state every ionic step. And everything is the same as the NVE ensemble, except that we add this line here, and this is very important. So we set the thermostat for the ionic temperature to be nozay hover thermostat, and then this is the parameter for the nozay hover thermostat, which is the oscillation frequency of this thermostat, and this is the targeted temperature in Kelvin, so we set it to be 40 Kelvin. And this parameter should be well chosen and should be uh, around the vibrational modes of the system so that the system can thermalize quite quickly. I have explained this parameter in my previous video on CPMD calculation in NVT Ensemble, so feel free to check that. Just as a review, we start from photo 51, which is the output file of step 2, and then we write to photo 52 as the output. And everything is located in the output directory here, which you can see here, and this is the 50 folder, 51 folder, and 52 folder. Okay, and then I would like to show you the result. I will not show you the calculation, and the command is very simple as shown here. So I would like to plot the temperature in this calculation, and I will also plot it together with the calculation in the CPMD calculation, and GNU plot, and just copy the command here and this is the result, and see that they are on top of each other, which means that BOMD and CPMD are equivalent. They all thermalize at around 40 Kelvin, and this is the thermal start temperature that we are setting. Okay, so in this video, I've shown you how to do BOMD calculation in NVT Ensemble. If you learned something, I appreciate your like or subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you next time.